Hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Okay, so today I am making a rag doll. I know, not particularly hard, is it? Although, when I asked the lady um, what colour hair, I got red, which could mean ginger, could mean red. <laughs> So I can, I can get on, I can do lots, but I can't actually finish it. So I know, might not be a problem, might not be a problem. Okay, so what I've got here is half a metre of quite soft calico. Um, you want it to be non-see-through and you want it to be quite 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 good quite good quality because it's got to be soft but either way if the doll is <laughs> yeah she's gonna be this color all right so um i've laid my fabric out it's folded in half and we are going to start with the legs now you do have a choice i reckon that a seam down the back of the legs is best. So we need to fold it over and I'm going to give her some feet as well. So if I do that and then flare them out and then I can sew them down and then the leg will come along here. So that's good. And I'm going to need two of those and the back ones I'm just going to need two actually I'm going to make that wider because I'm doing it in one go but I've got to be able to turn it inside out so I'm only going to need two of those now now the arms we don't want them any longer than the legs but we want nice long arms so I'm going to do the closed hand. And we're going to need four of those. Okay. So for the body, I'm just going to use a very nice square and I am going to just put shoulders in. Now this is very similar to the shoulder line that you would have in a, in a top or anything. So there we go. Now the face, circle face, there's always something very friendly about a circle face and I can do the embroidery of that today. And then what's left of the material I'm going to make so I've got a triangle of the circle to give it a bit of body. Okay, and when I sew the hair on, I'll sew the hair on from the point of the top of the head and down the sides and then down the back of the seam. So that's that really, very, very simple design. Obviously a case of sewing it all together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the limbs and sew as much as I can of the head and then when I sew up the body I can sew the limbs in and the head in obviously so I know I've cut two there, a bit of a mistake, but never mind. <coughs> so my wider legs, because I'm only doing one seam in those. And I'm going to cut both of the feet, although I might need to trim it slightly. I'm 
just trimming off the salvage here so it doesn't jump on the needle. Now I have the sewing machine set up with white thread and um, I've got it on quite a small stitch so it should just give it that extra bit of strength because although rag dolls are more for decoration you know I'm, I'm going to make the clothes detachable and things like that. So what I've done now is I've just folded over the seam of the arm so that I've cut four layers of fabric and make life just a little bit easier for me. Okay, I'm going to give myself a bit of hem allowance on that thumb so it stays there. Lovely. All I've got to do now is the side of the back of the head. So yeah, there's not a lot left of this material. Um, but that's all good. So that's my scraps. This is my to-go pile. Now when I'm sewing something um, that I have to turn inside out, what I like to do is I like to put a piece of string on there when I'm sewing so it makes it easier to turn inside out. Now I always feel I'm having a bit of a mess today, uh, I don't really know why. But, yes, probably because it is a bit of a mess. And Yes, yeah, anyway, a bit of string, if you've got it, that'd be great. So, I'm just going to reverse and go back over those stitches so that I can get my thumb in. So that's one arm sew. Come back and do that. Oh, excuse me. And for my feet, just fold them in half. turn this inside out, fold over the top and if you have a knitting needle or a nice blunt pencil then um, we'll just push it through. Uh, best to actually make sure that the, the thumb's pushed out now. It's just going to be difficult afterwards so yeah it's all good. There we go and then we just pick it. So that's my sewing to do. I need to do my four, four limbs as it were and then I can sew them into the body. Hi! So I've got my four limbs. A um, little bit of stuffing each time because otherwise you just end up in a hard knot at the bottom and then push it through. And um, if you do go hard enough, you just sort of wiggle it down a bit. So, and it's all good. 
Oh goodish. More stuff in than that. Oh well. Yes, all is good. So, next step. So, we have the main body here, and we need to sew it so that everything is on the inside. Now, we're not going to sew the head end. Because we're going to need that for later. So definitely sew across the shoulders. Now it doesn't matter if your thumbs face down or your thumbs face up, as long as they face the same. So I'm going to do it at a little bit of an angle there, So, and then I'm folding that over. and then I'm sewing down the side. So making sure that I've got all the bits of the cloth. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to sew in a hole. Now, when it's all together, I'm going to need it. I know at the moment I've got the head hole, but I'm going to machine sew the head in as well, so which is all good. It's probably a bit too aggressive for the machine then. I managed to unthread it, which is a bit of a nuisance. inside out and then I'm going to sew on a couple of stitches and then the same again with the feet. It doesn't matter which way you sew them round on at this stage, there's no definition between the front and the back so we're just going to make sure that we sew them on the same. Okay, so I'm going to lie that down. Now my legs uh, have come in about an inch, which is fine, as long as I make sure that my other leg comes in about an inch as well. Just folding that out. See, I've got all my bits lined up at the head. And same with the arm. I've just got to make sure that it is thumbs pointing down. sewing up my shoulder. Okay, so that 
what's that done? I'll turn it the right way round, just so we've got a look see. And I'm not going to stuff it because what I'll have to do is unstuff it again, just to sew the head on. So that's the main body done. Um, of course, we have the delight of dressing her, which is the fun part. Now, I'm going to go with just felt slippers as just might be considered a bit lightweight, I suppose. Now, side of the foot. Hole to put the foot in. And then we need to come down the foot. So they don't need to be that big. Lovely. So one slipper. We have the curb where we cut in and we need to match up that with that. Um, we lose about a centimetre with the curb. So I'm going to cut another one just so that it's done and um, that they match up. Because it just looks better, doesn't it, if um, everything matches up. So. There we go. I've got four side-on view slippers. And... You could do the sole quite merrily on a different colour, you really could. Um, okay. So I've got my sewing machine, I'm going to stick with the white thread throughout. I'm going to sew up the back. So up the top, although I might put in some shoelaces, but that's more decoration that I'll be doing at the end. So now what I've got is a little imprint thing. I'm going to start at any point, it doesn't really matter, and then I'm going to place it under the machine and literally sew round. But what I'm going to do, as I only guesstimated this drawing, is I'm going to place the end of it, the point of the oval, at the back of the shoe. So if it doesn't join up, I'll be able to adjust it. Okay, leave the needle down and then I'm just coming up to the other side. And it would be just a matter of maybe trimming a bit off. you can see where I've got to trim it and um, literally because I've used white cotton I can see those so clearly and there we are we've got a little booty now normally what I do is um, the clothes if they don't stay on then I put one stitch in if they do stay on then I don't put a stitch in 
this is just so the the new owner can um, have them and yeah if I've got, if I can find some a little red bow at the front there so they're the slippers which is a good start I'm going to stick with the belt and I'm going to make the little hat so because the head shape is about this you'd be surprised I'm going to make the top of this beret the same size as the head um, yeah and it is complete guesswork so first of all I'm going to cut a strip off And then I'm going to cut a circle. Lovely, I can put my felt away for now. And my strip of felt I'm going to sew and I'm going to pucker it up like that so just to give the appearance of a beret now I haven't measured this so what I'm hoping is just to trim off the excess when I come to the end the beginning I'm going to leave the needle down oh that's not very well in position is it and um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this flat fold this over I'm going to line up the two bottom pieces so that I know it's straight and then I'm going to go in So we've got a little red shoes and we've got a little red hat. What do you think is going to come next? Well, if you guess jacket, you're right. So I've got my doll here. Now, even though she's not stuffed, in a way she makes a better pattern. So. really hay fever today I know it's really sad so what I've done is I've folded my felt up so that I know it's big enough I'm gonna lie that under there and give myself a bit more felt use a pen and then mark round the doll and because she's not stuffed yet it's quite easy we can literally mark round her real size rather than her make-believe size so we don't have to make any adjustments for being round all right so that's that I can then fold that in half so that I know both halves are the same I'm going to cut the back as it were 
and then I'm just going to cut the front in half. So I'm coming through the armholes now and then it's flaring out for the coat. And then I can cut it off the bottom. So I'm going to put that there and now I'm going to line my felt out I'm going to take the jacket and lie the curb there and I'm going to curb the bottom and if you can imagine that you're going to forget the hem allowance so we've got probably three inches and we're forgetting the hem allowance and then I'm going to curb again so I'm just tracing that line that I drew earlier and then I'm going to cut now okay so I've got it laid out what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to cut on the line I'm going to cut up here just so that I've got as much of the fabric as I can possibly want so yes trim the bottom there we are. So, next job. At some point I need to cut down one of these lines, but I can wait. So all I'm doing now is I'm cutting the coat. I'm not going to line it or anything like that. down the long sleeve, sewing up the shoulders and then I'm going to sew down the long sleeve again. sleeves what I'm going to do fold them in half and then I'm going to cut down going to take my sleeve, I'm going to turn it inside out and same with the other one I'm going to place my sleeve inside the jacket So I'm going to line it up at the bottom and then it's a simple case of slow and steady I'm going to sew around these just like you would in a jacket for yourself other than we probably wouldn't use loose ends or anything like that but it's not going to fray so it's all fine now if you need to adjust the size then um, I'm going to do that from the bottom so there we go just get that all lined up again tuck it all in and if it is too big 
then we can just put some pleats at the top just to take the excess fabric and um, if it's a bit small well we can just heighten the panel under the armpit so let's make sure there's no holes Okay, so I'll do the other sleeve and I'll do the other shoe in a moment. <sighs> Hello, how brave are you? Maybe we should have done this earlier. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting down the front of this jacket. <gasps> I know, making sure that I don't cut the sleeve, I don't cut the back. I'm just literally, brutishly cutting down the front here as straight as I can so uh, num, 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 num. what I have here is um, fake leather flux leather flax flock oh, I don't know I'm sorry I don't know and I'm just cutting it into strips she's only going to have two buttons but rather than cut buttonholes in here, I'm going to take the leather, I need it facing outwards, and I'm going to fold it round and then sewing it on. So you can see there. But what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to do a row of stitches just to give it a bit of, bit of um, decoration. So I start at the bottom. take my fake leather I'm going to put that lie that down you know I know it seems a bit wrong that I'm um, sort of cheating and um, I'm not hemming or anything when I'm using felt deliberately using felt and um, I'm not backing or anything you know it's really up to you I like if you want to I can show you how to make a line jacket for a doll um, I can you know I just haven't so here we go there we are so let's put it around the right way Fold those over and do a couple of stitches over there just to keep them all nice. Yeah, I'm just making sure it lies flat on um, the sewing machine, that's all. So, a bit of a Paddington Bear decoration. We've got the hat, we've got the shoes. Uh, one of the things that you can do, because this probably isn't going to stay there, is with some elastic we can just twizz round the outside and then that will help it stay on the head. But that's fine. So we've got the hat, we've got the shoes. I don't like doing the pants, I'm afraid. But she has to have pants. Um, it's just tradition. And tradition is that they are sewn in. So, you know, yeah. Anyway, I've got some lining here. Um, really up to you. White lace stuff is quite good. But what we're going for is bloomers, okay? 
I'm just trying to find the end that I've started with. <laughs> okay, so we've got lining here. And what we're going to do is we need to make the pants. <clears throat> we might as well make the pants um, how we'd make trousers, okay? So, the body is this wide and we need two of them, so we need four of these bits. So, and then it will come round like that and then come round like that. There we go, we've got nice long bits. So I'm going to attempt to fold this into four. Lovely. If I just use that mug. I don't know, how are we doing with time? Oh, we're already on half an hour. I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking it would be good if I could do two videos and I could do the doll and the clothes but I can't so you know such is life so what I've got now is four of those shapes and I'm, I'm making them like I would make a pair of trousers for a child a pair of shorts sorry um, a pair of jeans anything you know it's the same design um, obviously I'm using lining, which we all know has a life of its own. And um, let me get rid of all of that. So, first of all, what I need to do is I need to individually sew the legs up. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to fold over these legs and put one line of stitching along there. my cutting out good <laughs> and same again I'm going to put one line of stitches along there And then I'm going to sew up to the legs on each of these and then I'm going to sew the two together so it's really quite simple and um, you know if it is the first time that you've made shorts or something then obviously you will be laughing afterwards I'm not worried if it's puckering to be truthful, I think in a way that looks better. Okay, last one. Make sure we've got both bits. I've got the machine set up to do the actual rag doll. I knew I didn't have to change the stitches um, to do the felt, so that's why it is puckering. But then I quite like it, I think it makes it look like it's part of the pattern. So I'm going to sew over that blue bit so that because I don't think that'll wash out. And 
make sure that I've got both bits. Obviously, this is lining, so, you know, has a will of its own. machine I just unthreaded it again it's not the machine's fault it is literally me so all I'm going to do now is I'm sewing the two legs together and I'm going to sew right around the bottom and then I'll come up to the back waistband and the back waistband we can either put a piece of elastic in all the way around or we can just put a piece of elastic in halfway it really depends on you and um, yeah you know We've got loads done, we really have. So let's just get this started. Okay, I'm gonna hold the two legs so that I've got the point that they're going to be together. And then I'm gonna leave my needle down and it's pretty much, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to look to see how close I am to the point. Now, even though it's just a doll, it's 